Hello everyone, the Skilled Roy here, filling in for Bruiser today, and for this video we wanted to talk about the big body, or heavy archetype of fighting games, and why a certain heavy metal champion could slot into it quite nicely for Project L. Big bodies are exactly what they sound like, massive characters with an act for taking up an entire portion of the game screen. They are often defined by that large size, their high damage output from either their huge ranging chunky normals or their back breaking command grabs depending on which type of heavy you're working with. However, to keep this all in check, they are usually balanced out with some of the largest hitboxes of the games they hail, and they often boast the slowest movement speed among the roster as well, so they are slow and sluggish to approach, perhaps to a menacing extent. With all these points in mind, who better to encapsulate that menacingly slow and brutish approach than Mordekaiser, the Iron Revenant? Mordekaiser in League of Legends is an absolute powerhouse of an AP fighter champion, who excels not only at dishing out chunky damage, but taking quite the beating too, thanks to his beefy shield ability. However, Mord also shares the aforementioned big body curse of slow movement. So it's not strictly an upside with this champion, just, you know, mostly upside. But let's dive a little bit more into how Mord works in League, and why I think his kit would be very well suited for Project L. Skipping his passive for now, we start with Mordekaiser's Q, Obliterate. Mordekaiser swings his mace over his head, smashing the ground and dealing damage to each enemy struck. In League, this is a standard laning tool to help get some chunky damage on his opponent from afar, or to help clear a minion wave due to its solid width of impact. In Project L, I propose we lean on the first part here and make it his space control and pressure tool. Have Mordekaiser do the very same overhead swing, hitting of course as an overhead in this case to catch crouching opponents. Plus, you can have another lower hand swing version to mix it up as a low. Up next, his W is indestructible. Upon building up this unique meter, Mordekaiser gains access to this massive shield, giving him the power to take a large amount of punishment, which is pivotal in League for his survivability in a fight. However, in a fighting game, I'm not a fan of just negating these large amounts of damage. My pitch here would be to instead give Mord the ability to use this Mord meter to add armor properties to some of his other special moves. While they often reduce damage taken from attacks like you might expect, armor moves in fighting games are additionally abilities where characters can perform attacks without taking hit stun if they are hit in return. So basically, when the armored character swings in, their attack won't be interrupted by the opponent's hit, as they would have if the move had been unarmored. To me, this would fit not only Mord's, well, armor thematically, but also works well with the big body character archetype, as armor moves are often staples within their ability kits as well. Now let's circle back to his passive, Darkness Rise. Mordekaiser gains a powerful damage aura and movement speed after landing three attacks or spells against champions or monsters. In League, this is where Mordekaiser unlocks his huge damage potential. After landing the requisite three attacks, he procs this AoE aura on top of his continued offense to double up on his heavy damage output. In Project L, I think this would be a bit too much to trigger so easily, so my choice here is instead of procking on three attacks, we tie this ability into Mord's indestructible meter as well. Rather than just using it on armor moves, Mord could cash out a full meter and a bit of mana to unleash this devastating damage tool. It would be an excellent way to go on an all-out assault, or a great get-off-me tool for opponents who are getting a little too close for comfort. Next up we have Mord's E, Death's Grasp. Mordekaiser pulls all enemies in a targeted area. This ability is exactly as it sounds, a great way to pull the enemy close and start chunking away with Mord's other attacks. Frankly, I think this one works great exactly as it is for Project L, so copy-paste and you're all good to go. Then, to help fill out Mord's kit, we can also add a second version for a point-blank range that actually acts as a command grab as well. Finally, this brings us to Mordekaiser's R and ultimate ability, Realm of Death. Mordekaiser drags his victim into a different dimension with him, and steals a portion of their stats. This is an excellent way for Mordekaiser to immediately buff his stats to give an obvious advantage, and this ability also prevents the enemy team from assisting in the fight as no other champion can enter this temporary area. For the Project L counterpart, my idea here is a similar install style status buff for a short duration, such as increased damage and speed, plus the previously discussed Mord Gauge could fill up passively while in the Realm of Death. And lastly, as with its League equivalent, no other champion can enter the Death Realm. That means no assists, no tag-ins, and a no-holds-barred, one-on-one fight to the death. 
And that's going to do it for our pitch for Mordekaiser and Project L. Let us know in the comments below what you thought of it and what other champions you want to see concepts for in future videos. Huge thanks to the Skilled Roy for the narration of this video. If you haven't had the chance to check out his channel, we actually recently did another collaboration showcasing Roy's concept for Jin and Project L2. So if you like my concepts, I think you'll enjoy that one as well. Links, of course, in the description down below. But that's all I've got. Thank you all so much, as always, for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.